Royal Melbourne has a, uh, a rich history of hosting tournament golf, uh, both professional but, but importantly amateur golf. So we're, we're thrilled to see the AEC back here again since its first visit in 2014. It's a potentially life-changing opportunity, so we're really pleased that we can host the event and the initiative of the Asia Pacific Golf Confederation and the r and and the Masters in growing the game, we're very pleased to be able to work with those organisations to host the event. You know, to host some of the best players in the region and see them play the, uh, the composite course is fantastic for us and uh, our team really take a lot of pride in preparing a course for an event like this. Royal Melbourne's famed for its natural beauty, uh, the seasonality of the weather in Melbourne will dictate how the golf course looks and plays. Yeah, I think you've got to be able to, uh, to, to work your way around landing the ball short of the greens and front half of the greens. Certainly going to be very firm out there. Uh, not a super long championship golf course, plenty of width, uh, but some strategic bunkers and also very hard and fast greens. The West Course was designed by Mackenzie in 1926 and his partner Alec Russell designed the East Course in 1928. Courses were constructed by the greenkeeper at the time called Mick Morecambe and the machinery that he used was a horse, a scoop and a plough, which is hard to believe when you, when you walk around the golf course and you look at the magnificent bunkering and it was all done by a horse and a scoop.